this headlines and then we'll get back All to right. the tapes. And the Donald Trump roast happened, and I, I don't even know how that was. I didn't hear it, but maybe we could listen to a few clips. Was Lisa, it, was it, it was televised, yeah. Also, Lisa G is being shadowed by... Caroline. Caroline, our intern, who... Why are you... Hi, hi, Caroline. Hi. Why are you shadowing Lisa G? Well, I want to be a reporter one day, a news reporter, oh. so I figured the best way to do that would be to follow around the Howard 100 news reporter, Lisa G. And what did you do? You asked Gary if you could do that? Actually, Ronnie did. Ronnie was Ronnie, very I into oh, the idea. He's involved <laughs> again. Here he goes. I mean, why? What is with this Ronnie? What is he? He's uh, like um, the intern coordinator. Sweetheart, I'm gonna do you a favor. <laughs> I wonder what her nickname is, but you know, her in name, his mind, I call her Dimples. I call her Dimples because <laughs> she nice she's dimples. a beautiful girl with dimples. <laughs> what? The only reason she, she followed her in here, I. She said... Oh, oh, well, I see. Dude, I had nothing to do with her following Lisa. What, are you crazy? I'm not crazy. You get involved with all the female oh, interns. Oh, bullshit. Go away. I didn't do anything. <laughs> go away. Where am I going to go? I don't know. If I go away, you're going away. <laughs> you go got to go with him if he goes away. Did I have anything to do with her following you today? No, but you did say, Caroline, go follow Lisa in the studio. No, I, said, I said, oh, you're the producer I now? said maybe that was a cool idea. That's all I said. Oh, uh, okay. Lisa, don't start shit. She should be following Lang from Lisa. He does something. Uh, <laughs> at least he's taller than you. But then again, ooh, everyone what is. That, Sorry. What does that have to do with it? What? What is that? What, what is that? Me being taller than him being tall. Isn't midget school in session? You're late. Oh, please. <laughs> wow. Give me a break. Oh, wow. oh listen oh. to you. What, you study last night? Yes, I did. <laughs> what, you get a joke book? Yeah, yes. really. She's got Jackie's joke box. <laughs> She's going through the Gilbert guy. Right, and even <laughs> if you stand right on it, you're still That's not right. tall. Jackie was, on there. Jackie was on last night. You must have listened. Lisa's on fire. Did you yeah. hear that one? I got Jackie's. I got Jackie's joke box, and even if you stand on it, you're still not tall. <laughs> wow, that's great. Wow. That's awesome. That's a good one. Wow. Uh, excuse wow. me. Who's doing security right now? I'm in here with the boss. Right. Well, there are things going on out there. And there's nothing going on out there. That's right. And there's nothing going on here either. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. You should be the duck. Oh. All right, let me get him. Quack. <laughs> yeah, Ronnie's not in the open casting call. Quack. <laughs> hey, I hear you now. Twitter during the show. Is that true? No. Not so, during it. Dude, it was 4.15 this morning. Some guy wrote me. He says, here, wait. Hey, Matt, why are you reporting on Ronnie? You say he Twitters during the show? Hey, now. Hey, now. Uh, yeah, Ronnie, you know, I like you and all, but I noticed you did Twitter yesterday right at 6.01. It's right at the start of the show. Like, I'll be honest, it's not at, like, the heart of the show, but it's about NASCAR. You're Twittering about NASCAR during the show, Ronnie. Do you, are you now tweeting? That more? was before the show started, dick bag. <laughs> are you still? Uh, before the show started, dick bag. Were you protecting me or were you tweeting? I was right here in the hall. Hey, Ronnie. Yes, sir. Are you only still tweeting once a day? Sometimes twice. Twice. Sometimes. What did you tweet? Most of the time, 4.15 in the morning, 4.30. When you're waiting for me. Yeah, exactly. He's in the car tweeting. <laughs> yeah, I put out my one tweet. What is your tweet today? NASCAR. My tweet today, shut up. I put out, <laughs> people, people, they don't like the way I write. They, I should use punctuation. I should use better grammar. Yeah, I know, Ronnie. He can't and write. And I said, you know what? <laughs> yeah. Don't read it. I don't care. I told you, when Ronnie got the job. I didn't know I was Engl in English class. He wrote me a letter and gave it, put it in my mailbox. In crayons. In my house. Yeah, I know. It looked crayons. like a fucking second grader. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm and that's, telling you. that's why I'm here. Okay. Well, I didn't hire you to write. I hired you to fucking drive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how you write. But uh, he can't. Pay attention to your job, Ron. Not I am paying attention phone. to my job, Matt. You know what? I gotta follow you on Twitter. I want to see your grammar and punctuation. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. He fucks up every grammatical sentence. I really don't care. I they know you all, don't. It's obvious. All, they get all upset because I write instead of writing two. Yeah, I put the number two. So. Because you're only allowed a certain amount of letters. Right. So I and try you have to a lot to say. Yeah, exactly. I got plenty to say. <laughs> Economy I got is the remedy. To, I got plenty to say. Yeah. Wow. Sorry I stole your limelight. <laughs> See, he, he's, he's a character. Yeah, I'm a character, all right. All right. So you tweeted once already today. That's it. And that's going to be it for the Probably, day. Probably, yeah, unless, you know. And what did you say what today? What did you tweet today? Uh, I didn't know I was... I didn't know Twitter was English school. Ah. Um, if you don't like the way I write, basically go fuck yourself. Ah. I didn't say go fuck yourself, though. What'd you say? Yeah, you don't want to lose your Aflac. No, job. I wouldn't put that. 
Uh, so that was your big tweet for the if you day. Don't like the way I, I, if you don't like the way I tweet, too bad. Do you find yourself getting tempted to tweet a second and third time for the day? <laughs> no. Not at all? No. Just did you read the tweets after they... Oh, after, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. yeah. I get all the haters. And yeah. A lot of people it, like me, so right. I don't give a shit. You know, right. it's cool. Do girls... T- I know you're a ladies' man. Do girls tweet you all the time? Yeah, I remember I, uh, the girl I told you sent the picture of her boobs to me? Right. So now she sent me a picture of her body. Right. Nice. And she wants to work at Rick's. And right. she's a real good looking girl. Oh but my God. How she, disgusting. Shut up, oh. idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Disgusting. So she, she wants to work at Rick's, but I don't think it's going to work because. She has way wow. too many tattoos. You could make wow. her dream come true. She's Ron. got sle- wow. a big, two big sleeves. Girls, down and girls, don't do that. That looks gross. I mean, she looks good. Yeah, but it's, big it's, sleeves yeah. to turn off, man. She's got some cool yeah, shit on her back that, that looks good. You know who's got cool wreck. tattoos for a chick is Avril Lavigne. Like she's just got little, it's like a little musical note or a little like arm tattoo, like a little bit of writing. She doesn't cover herself on a forearm. Yeah, she got one like I saw on her neck. She was getting one, but that's it. I mean, this girl's got a dynamite body. Yeah. Dynamite. Why would she fuck it up with a big two sleeves? Yeah, and she's got something. Keep herself out know. of the strip club. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. She wa- I like it. She would have been, she could have worked at any strip club in America, so she had to give herself a handicap, so now she can't get in. And then, and then she, she, like, yeah. she gets on there when she's drunk, and she'll tweet, like, uh, I got my drunk on. Uh, I'm going to some bar to hang out or something. And then she'll put pictures up, like her being drunk and she stuff. She writes that to you. No, no. It, oh, it's I see. It's in no. her tweet. Are you but following we've done, her? We've done some private tweets. Because I thought yeah. it was kind of weird that there was one girl you're following. Like Everyone was like, Ronnie's following like one person because he doesn't even know how to work it. But this one girl he's following. <laughs> no. Yeah. You were following some girl. I was? Yeah. But yeah, I Ronnie, you were following, at one point you were following four people, and three of them were celebrities, and one of them was a, a, a dancer. Yeah, that's, that's the girl, dude. That's the, that's the same girl. That's the one I was talking. Yeah, I'm not stalking her. She asked me for for an audition. Okay, dumbbell. Is it true? Hey, Howard, you is it true? Is, Howard, uh, it, Howard, uh, you should get it somebody true? better to protect you, Howard. Is it true that you end your tweets with LFSW? Yeah. And what is that? Let's fuck whores. Let's fuck some whores. That's your thing. People want to hear that. They want to. They want to see they that. They want to read that. They want to see that. They love it. They, dude, the topless thing. Yeah. Is like. It's like you're winning. It's like it's going crazy with yeah. that. People all day long. That's the, the, <laughs> that's all I topless. see. Ronnie, I'll give topless. you props for any of that topless thing. That oh, is. Ronnie, I'll give you topless. props for that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, Matt, for, my, for your props. You know what 70. you can do with your props, Matt? Well, let's hear from Matt. What do you want to say, Matt? Have you seen the video of Ronnie at Scores on our TV? It's of course I have. I don't go to Scores, Matt. Get well, your fuck shit, whatever, Rick, get your shit so straight, sorry. Matt. <laughs> whatever, dude. Uh, we got a, if uh, you're going to call and complain, get your shit straight, I'm, Matt. I'm, a, I'm like a normal like guy. I'm you're not like normal. You're a like dumbbell. <laughs> and by the way, I retweet. Uh, it's disgusting. It's re- disgusting. What are you, a priest? Uh, see, like this 20-year-old girl grinding on you, it's gross. Yeah. Oh, it's gross. You Who t- wants to see that? Why is it gross? On the Howard- I'm a normal American man. Why is it gross? On the Howard Dope. TV special, Ronnie's practically raping this girl. Yeah. He's a rubbing yeah. her. He's, it's wild. Great girl, Roxy. Roxy, yeah. Yeah. She looks Matt like wishes she was sitting next to him right now. She looked like a moth caught in a spider's web. Whatever. That is true. She's hot, but it's inappropriate. She's hot. <laughs> She's very hot. <laughs> I could just see your ass in a strip club. I've heard uh, oh, several people. Oh, lady, would you come and sit with me, please? I've heard several people say, "Look, I bet you're on. I could do a date better than you do." Oh, uh, let's. T- I'll take you up on that date. Come on, asswipe. That chick went back to Siberia, dude. Yes, she did. Oh, yeah, definitely. I've heard like a lot of people who get Howard TV say that. What? Um, watching that uh, footage of Ronnie getting the lap dance. It's the most disturbing thing they've ever seen. <laughs> well, guess what? By the way, speaking of tweets and uh, Howard TV, I actually retweeted a uh, a clip of uh, Jason and Will dancing to the fist pump song and Lisa G. But it's weird. They cut off your dancing, Lisa. You yeah. start dancing and they cut it off. Why'd you do that, Doug? On the, on the clip you tweeted. Howard, it's exactly what you saw. I didn't clip anything further. No, That's Lisa, all you had? Lisa dances more. I well, saw it. So it's a short little snippet to tease people, and to yeah, but, say there is more. But to, but but, but uh, whatever, it, I don't care. It, it, you should play, you should play it up till Lisa stops dancing. 
That's it, Howard. If I show you the video, she stops dancing at that exact point. Now then she starts again. I'm telling you, I saw more Lisa dancing. I know what I'm talking about, Doug. Okay. I'm so not what? imagining it. And, but then it goes on and on, and then it's not a tease anymore. Then it's That's just... not on and on. It's another 30 seconds of dancing. Okay. First he says, you, you know... He didn't cut it off. Then he says it's a teaser. Then he says there's no footage more of Lisa dancing. And I know there is. I, I can't communicate with this guy. Then he, then he writes me an email last night. I got, they, they're putting on a new special on Howard TV. It's called a behind-the-scenes special. It's like an hour and a half of all behind-the-scenes stuff. It's uh -huh. going to be a spectacular special. Doug goes, you need to sit and watch this with me. I go, Doug, <laughs> I'm so Are you fucking. Kidding me? Yeah, he goes, you need to watch with me because there are certain places and edits and things. And if you call it out, it'll be easy. I go, uh, Doug, listen, <laughs> I, I, why don't I put a broom up my ass? I said, I'm going to do the show today. I got, a, I got an appointment with my daughter. I got 50 fucking other things I got to do. I got Tim up my ass with fucking telling me about his budgets and all this other shit. Give me a copy of the show, and I'll, and I'll speak to you on the phone after I watch it, and I'll tell you what, what should be edited. You know what he's doing? What? He's trying to make it easier for himself. Yeah. So he goes, and then listen to the balls on this guy. He writes me back. He goes, uh, I don't think that'll, I should read you what he wrote. He goes, I don't think that will work. We're going to need you here. I go, well, and it's not going to happen, you fuck nut. Fuck you. Listen, Howard, fuck you. Uh, right, Tracy? This is, this is, this is a, 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 it's going to be a long-term thing. We'll be doing something special for the next three years or so. Doug, listen to me. This, you have to be in sync with us. Doug, I, I'm the fucking guy who told you to do this. I'm in sync. I'm in sync with myself, not with you. Listen to me. I'm Give not me, trying to make it hard if you're uh, really Doug, not. Doug, do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. I, I'll be at the meeting today. Sit and wait for me. <laughs> okay. What we meeting? Need He's going to meet. We need you here. I can't be there. Give me the fucking tape, and I'll tell you how we'll do it. Okay, I'll do All it. All right. He not, doesn't want to have to now... I didn't refuse to give you the thing. I said, if you want that, absolutely, I'll give it to you. But how many I, emails are you going to send me? Just do it my way. Believe me, it'll work out fine. I'm going to sit there with you and Fat Ganji and watch a special. <laughs> at least there'll be a lot of food there, then. <laughs> Not really. Who can eat with him in the room? I'll throw up. That's a great behind the scenes. Yeah, Ganji eating. <laughs> oh, explodes. my God. I want that story. Well, that kid wastes my time more. He goes, can you tell me how to lose weight? Everyone asks everyone around here, but maybe you seem to always maintain a nice weight. <laughs> so I go, okay, here's what you're going to eat. You ready? You wake up in the morning, have a bowl of fucking cereal. I don't care what it is. Uh, cold cereal? Yes, cold cereal. I don't like cold cereal. <laughs> I go, you don't like cold cereal? All right, we're going to have hot cereal. Oh, hot cereal, I don't have time to make hot cereal. <laughs> I go, listen, you fucking maniac. <laughs> Get away from me. All right, what do I have, hot cereal? Yeah. Uh, uh, is, is, is it sweetened? I go, you put a banana. <laughs> you put a banana in it to be sweet. A banana sweet, but I mean like a sugar, or maybe a low cal sugar or substitute. Oh, he's such a joke. I said, here's what you, you want to lose weight, Ganji, you fat pig. Here's what you do. Oh, is that idiot still on the phone? Leave him alone. I, like I want to. I don't want to leave Matt's him alone. Cool he has no life. I'm in the, the middle of telling you about Ganji. Yeah, well, you should go on a trip with Ganji and watch him eat. What'd you see? Him <laughs> he eat? eats like 20 meals a day. <laughs> I know, and he panics. And he... if he can't find Starbucks, man, he goes on his GPS looking for it. <laughs> no, <laughs> I you... swear to God. Well, how often would you say he eats? Like every hour? <laughs> not every hour, but he's always hungry. A yeah. Jones thing for Macchiata. And like you're not like like you would just eat breakfast. You could wait till lunch, right? Oh, definitely. But he has to eat like every two hours. Sometimes I don't even have to eat lunch because we eat breakfast so late. If we're out on a trip, my, my blood sugar level just dropped. <laughs> my third stomach the is empty. <laughs> the funny part with the Starbucks, he, he goes on GPS to look for it. Yeah, he can't. He can't, it can't be like he can't go to a coffee shop. No, I to get a cup of coffee, he's got to be Starbucks, yeah, the latte, and because all because he has such shit, a sophisticated you know? palate. <laughs> Educated palate. <laughs> well, let me tell you, so this fucking guy. So I said, okay, so you're gonna have cereal. I said, then you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna at lunchtime. Lunchtime, I always have a snack. At least several. I go. Listen, if you, 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 you big baby, you big baby Huey, if you need a snack, how about an apple? I don't really like fruit. I go, okay. Could well, I put that between two slices you, of pizza? I go, Ganji, why don't I get you a teat and you can breastfeed? <laughs> anyway, so he, I told him a fruit, and then I said lunch. You could have, um, I said, 
You're up tight. Have a sandwich. You can even have two pieces of bread with a sandwich. How's that? Or better, uh, a little brown rice with maybe some vegetables and uh, a nice uh, couple of slices of turkey or some kind of protein. Okay, and then what? And then for dinner, you know, have a nice salad. I say, you don't have to deprive yourself. Have a nice salad. Have some protein. Have potato. Have rice. A portion. A portion. Yeah, okay. So I'm fucking, and every day he's asking me, asking me, asking me about the diet, this and that. He's on, he's carrying food with him. Three days later, he's eating a fucking pizza. He's back to his old ways. So I waste an hour or two telling him what to eat because he asked. And right. it was a big waste of my time. It's like you with Tim going around with the fucking enemas with him, <laughs> the fucking colonics with Tim. You got him vegetating, souping. Well, Son he of a bitch. actually did it. Ganji won't even do it. Son of a bitch is fatter than ever. But he did do it for a while. It's unbelievable around here. And this guy, Ganji, I follow him on Facebook. He's got dozens of pictures of food on his Facebook. Yeah. Chicken what? and waffles. Yeah, chicken and waffles. He eating. loves food. Yeah. And I've seen him back there. He's like a rabid animal, like a shark. He, they, the one time they had a Howard 100. I'm not sitting there with him. They had a Howard uh, TV meeting. They didn't order him his grandma-style grandma pizza, it's called. I don't even uh, know what really? that is. Gra What's no, that? they ordered it, and everybody ate it on him. Yeah, and he went berserk, right? Yeah, grandma-style yeah. pizza is like, um, it's square and thin, very thin and yeah. square. And but what, it got a lot and, of and toppings? It's got, and it's got the fresh mozzarella on it, rather uh. than, you know what I'm saying? I thought it was because he's built like a fat grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what this guy carries on with weight. Uh, anyway, uh, what, why are you in here again? I forget. Oh, your Twitter account. Yeah, my yeah. Twitter. Yeah. I'm How many followers you have now? About 25,000. Wow. wow. I'm going to yeah. follow you. I want to see what your grammar is like. Yeah, well, I, and then you're saying I'm following girls. I'm, I followed the, the one girl because she wanted an interview. Right. Okay. With you? Yeah. No, no. no at, at, she wanted an audition at Rick's. Uh, okay. Right. And and then, why is that funny? <laughs> why is that funny to this wrong. moron? It's a little creepy. And then there's this, no, it's not creepy, moron. The girl's trying to get a job. Yeah, Other, he, like you, what do you do? I, like I ask you all the time. This guy, this guy is the biggest hater. He calls in if I'm on the wrap-up show. He calls in if I'm in the studio. He, this guy's got so really much free don't. time. I I'd love to know what he him. does. What but do you anyway, do, I'm following this girl, Zena, some girl in yeah. Philadelphia who's a big fan. And I'm following uh, Kevin Harvick's wife, Delena. Isn't it funny listening to Ronnie talk about tweeting? It's She's like, It's like when your mom and okay. dad learn yeah. about something, like computing and stuff. Oh, He's... When they first decided they are going to buy some jeans. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's this thing called the intranet. <laughs> I got to tell you, I never thought much about this tweeting, but I got to say, I'm talking to some chicks on there. Yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> they follow me. I like it. <laughs> this chick they follows want me. She wants a job it. over at Rick's. I'm not doing anything <laughs> wrong. Gangie. What's Literally. so funny about that? I said, what's up with the sleeves? Honey. Well, yeah, here's Ganji's food. Look, look, this is from his Facebook. These are his oh, pictures. Geez. Most My guys on Facebook. Most guys on Facebook put pictures of their girlfriends up there. This guy puts pictures of his meals. Here he is at the Chinese <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> Here he is eating waffles and chicken. Oh, uh, that's awful. This is some this looks like a pile of shit on a plate. Right, I don't know what, what this is. is. That? <laughs> this is a pile of shit with an onion ring. Look at this thing. I it looks like, a, it looks like a steak. It looks like a steak, dude. Yeah, it like, uh, looks like recycling. And this is some sort of burger with some kind of melted cheese and tomato on it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's, he's got. He's no had, wonder he's the size he of a whale. Be, why is he working here? He should be one of those people who makes their living taking pictures of food. Or a food critic to going around restaurants yeah. and eating food. But he's has, he calling. has this friend yeah. that he, he goes to different restaurants and tries food and he takes Ganji with him. Yeah. So Ganji's in love with. You know, Food. all these restaurants and stuff he goes to. Yeah, like you follow chicks, at least on Twitter. He, yeah. Twitter he's, and NASCAR. He, yeah, he, he's following Hamburger. Yeah. He's following the Hamburglar. <laughs> chicken. Yeah. <laughs> this is my tweeting friend, Chicken and Hamburglar. How'd they miss him on the fast food show? I don't know. Uh, all right, well, what do you do, Matt, for a living? Ronnie wants to know. He won't tell uh, you. Yeah, I've already said. I, I'm not making it about me. It's about Ronnie being creepy with young women. That's See, what he about. won't answer, dude. He just will not answer. He uh, won't tell I'm you what he does for a living. I'll, I'll tell you. I'm essentially an out-of-work musician, Howard. That's why I have the ah, I knew it, you fuck. I knew you were unemployed, <laughs> asshole. Ronnie, sitting home doing nothing. Musi musician. What do you do? Stand on the corner with a cup? What do you play? No, no, I'm a classical musician, Ronnie. Yeah, you stand on the corner with a cup. 
by the subway. Oh, they have they don't have subways in Canada, do they? I don't know I what know, they I'm have. I'm in Quebec, Ronnie. It's not Canada. Fucking stop calling me Canadian, motherfucker. Jesus Christ. Oh, motherfucker. Look at him getting to you. I don't know. You're all upset now. Poor Matt. I mean, you got to admit, there's a little bit of a creep factor to you in these videos. I can totally understand why you want to hang out with younger women. It's a party. It's a good time. There's Ronnie. nothing wrong with it, dude. Well, pl- hey, what do you play? What it's, instrument? It's okay if you're gay and hang out with guys. I got no problem with that. But I like hanging out with girls, all right? Yeah, why don't you hang out with women who are a little bit more of a relationship with you? I don't want to be in a relationship with women, okay? <laughs> I want to just hang out with them. He wants well, to meet is girls. Is that okay he with you? Guys. Is that all right with you? I don't tell you who to hang out with, do I? I yeah, but I'm not putting videos of my Dude, up. Dude, I didn't put the video up. Howard TV put it up. Okay, I don't put I don't go on YouTube and put up videos of myself. Okay, Matt, what TV instrument do you play? Up stuff. Skin flute. Uh, guitar. What? What? Guitar. Classical guitar. Let me hear you play some. Uh, like I have to play guitar. Yeah, go. yeah. Go find your guitar. It's probably out on the corner <laughs> with, with your cup. <laughs> We're right where your broad is, Ronnie, the one who's auditioning for you. Hey, hey, I'm having a good time. I'm sorry. You're I, not. I have to say, it is a little bit uh, creepy watching Ronnie's uh, well, lap dance. Well, it's the rubbing of the girl. Right. It's, it's, it's that sure look on his face. It's a TV show, Robin. We're doing it for TV, you know? All right, Ronnie, Ronnie, I've got the perfect test for you to prove that this is creepy. Watch your Howard TV episode. I watched it. There it is. I lived it. I lived it. What happens? Let us tape the reaction. I lived it, dude. Tape what reaction of who? She doesn't look like she's crying, does she? Does she look like she's dying that I'm killing her? With a civilian woman who's like a normal person who would be totally creeped out by that, I guarantee you're going to see what I'm talking about. There's plenty of civilian women who go to strip clubs, dude. I hate to tell you. Get with the times. People like you and like, Get oh with God. the times, dude. Guys bring their girlfriends to strip clubs and their wives God, all the buddy, time. I'm 50 years younger than you. Oh, all right, my all God. Right. Thank dude, you, such Ronnie. such an asshole. All right. Well, there you go. Well, there it is. Pop uh, Topless. That's right, topless, dude. T O P. Unlike you, topless. T L E S S. You want me topless, you homo? That, uh, no, you are the homo, dude, and there's nothing wrong with being a homo. Topless. There's nothing wrong with being gay. Just admit it, okay? <laughs> admit that you're gay. There's nothing wrong with it, pal. Come out of the closet. It's okay. Top security guy. It, that's right. Make sure the cookies are handed out evenly, Ronnie. No, I'm not handing out any cookies. Don't you worry about it, dude. Don't you worry. All right, boys. Thank you very much. Take care, Matt. Uh, Have a good day. Go out and play that guitar in the corner. This guy, he's... I don't even have words for this moron who calls in. I really don't. Why do you allow him to rile you up? I don't care. Dude, it doesn't rile me up. I rile him up. He's a very upset person, obviously. But he does, get, he does get a bit of a rise out of you. So what? He causes a reaction. I love it, dude. I love it. Just because you can put him in his place? I don't care about him. I don't care. I don't care about him. You mentioned that Twitter has brought about, you know, a lot of fans, but also a lot of haters, as you put it, like, like this so, guy, Matt. So what? What are some of the other things some of these haters are saying? I told you they don't like my grammar. They get upset the way I abbreviate things. And I don't put commas and periods and punctuations. Okay? They're not happy with that. I didn't know it was an English class. I thought it was about having fun, meeting guys, meeting girls. Ricky man. Ricky man. Got a tattoo. (laughs) What percentage of your Twitter followers would you say are haters versus fans? You know what? To be honest with you, I would say... 70-30. 70-30. In favor of fans? 70 in favor, 30 haters. That's not bad. No, it's not bad. It's, it's not bad. bad. It's not bad. How, how did this segment become all about you? It started out with uh, Lisa G. Because Lisa G said, I, I told her that this girl should follow her. I never said anything like that. All I said, well, maybe be cool is, are you going to follow her into the studio when you do headlines? I said, maybe that'd be fucking cool. That's all I said. But it's I not told- like you, you arranged this. No, I didn't setup. arrange anything. The girl, ar- the girl arranged it. What's her problem? Why would she want to follow her anyway? She doesn't do anything. Yeah, you don't learn anything. Yeah, go follow Langford. You might learn something. You learn how to uh, kiss ass Learn stars. how to be a reporter. Exactly. Ah, look who's here, Lisa G, hanging out with her shadow. Her shadow, Caroline, right, Caroline? 
Yes. You got it. Caroline, the intern who is shadowing Lisa because she wants to be just like Lisa. <laughs> wow. All women want to be like Lisa. Yeah. Well, why not? Yeah. What have you learned? How, how many days have you been following her? Oh, this is my first and probably maybe only. Only day. Just, Winning. Just a special one day thing. What have you learned so far? She's a hard worker. Right. Why do you say that? What did you see her do? Oh, my gosh. She's constantly got a pen in her hand, taking notes. Look how Lisa likes this. Interviewing what is people. What taking so notes impressed. of this morning? Lisa, I would you, love to know that. you like being shadowed, right? Um, it's a little uncomfortable for me. <laughs> right. What is? What are you taking notes of every minute? That uh, uh, The Car- interview with the Bravery Award. I see. I type the notes into my BlackBerry, and then I have them for today and for the rest of the week should I need to go back to them. That's my new thing now. I just, instead of using a, a piece of paper. And, and you're phone. able to type quickly on the BlackBerry? Yes. Do you ever try to type on the iPhone? I can't do it. Oh, that's the only reason why I still have a BlackBerry, but I right. feel like I'm behind the eight ball because I have a BlackBerry and I should be having something else. Steve Jobs will not put a keyboard on that iPhone. He why says, is that? Because he goes, the uh, keyboard is so 1980s. It's not his well, thing. Well, then you just better get with it. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's so, your he's your guru. So what did you what did you write down during the bravery awards? I mean, what was the highlight? Quotes that he said, some mm-hmm. fun things. You kept calling him Professor Doctor. You know, just little things, I little see. anecdotes. And Caroline read the notes. And what will you do with these notes? She's going to make a news reca- news forecast broadcast. I, I, uh, <laughs> inter- it's a forecast. Right. I interviewed interviewed him in the green room. Okay. Right. It's a combination so of everything. That whole thing. Okay. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Very good. Uh, very nice. And, and Caroline, you've learned to take notes now? Yes. Are you going to walk around with a pad like Lisa? You know, and I got to get one of those tape recorders too. Right. She's bringing around everywhere. She you has want... a tape recorder at all times. All times. You want to do it the way Lisa does it? <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well. You never know when news is going to happen, right? You never know. You don't. So the whole day you'll be shadowing? Until noon, because I think she might oh. be going with Sal today. All right. So. Are you going to get glasses like uh, Lisa's? I might have to. I saw a couple pictures of her before without glasses, and I was shocked. I've never seen her. I think she looks good with and without them. Yeah, it's a better look (laughs) for a news reporter. The glasses are reporter, Lisa. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, When when she's out on a sexy date, she doesn't wear her glasses. Uh, She gave me some dating advice before, too. Uh, What what was that? Well, because she last week you were talking about how she had a dating book, so I went on a date last night, and I asked her for her advice. Tell her what, tell what I said. He, uh, well, I had seen this guy on Monday night. Right. We had a great time. Right. And then I saw him again last night. Okay. And he said to me, we'll get together next week. So I said, is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Because we saw each other two nights in a row. And now he's saying a week from now. And Lisa said to take it slow. <laughs> sure. Lisa's taking it so slow, she's still not married. <laughs> is right. going at a snail's So pace. we'll have to yes. wait and say. I hope she's right. <laughs> well, that's very good. So, so Lisa's advising you on your love life. My love life, television shows, Everything. news. Oh, Lisa, I might have to make this a permanent thing. Lisa uh, whispered to me, she's going to tell you, wait till you're 60 to get married. <laughs> <laughs> That's her advice. Take All it right. slow. Yeah. I, you should have shouted her yesterday. I heard you had a fight in the hallway with Ooh. Greg Carmel, the camera guy from Howard TV. Really? Yikes. What happened, Lisa? Well, there has been a policy here since we started. Okay. That it's Howard TV's interview when the celebrities leave the newsroom and this has been in effect for what 15 16 years okay and now you have a news department yes and so what happens every now and then is i'll ask a question if there is a lull what i feel is a lull in the conversation and i think a celebrity or i've heard that a celebrity has to rush out of here yeah i, I mean it's a pig fuck out there why can't the howard 100 news ask a question and then I can, the t- I can explain and that. the tv people can tape it well so, so the tv guys need this is what i've understood the tv guys need to have Clean stuff because, uh, for, for whatever reason, without Lisa's clean questions. Clean stuff. Words, Lisa's without, unclean. <laughs> without Lisa's questions on it. So, I see. So the, the premise that the TV guys are saying is that. But well, listen to me. Hold on. Let me finish this one. Lisa can leave the compound and follow them out front and go to the elevator with them, whereas TV. Hold it. I'm going to stop you right there. I can't have guests showing up and have Lisa asking Chasing questions them. out to the elevator and Greg asking questions once they step out the door. It, it, we're overwhelming people. Why can't Lisa? Lisa can't be on camera, or they can't hear her voice. Why can't you hear her voice, question? Greg? What's the problem with that? Um, she interrupts, and she has zero tact, as opposed to someone like Steve Langford who gets it. Right. Um, what is that supposed to mean? It means that you don't know how to follow I, protocol. You don't know how to wait. You what? interrupt my questioning. 
Hey. What's up, Sarah? Ronnie's hot for you today. Yeah, he's raving. Ronnie right. looks good. Look good. I like his I hair was, natural. Was, it's his mambo. My mouth. Do we have a match here? Mambo makes me crazy. <laughs> What's that? A part of his news oh, team. Hi, I'm Lisa G. Nice Bradley, to nice see you. Nice to meet you. Oh my and God, it's good at this. You've got your short sure hair. Your abs, and sure your abs. Sure your abs. Oh my God. Oh. That's crazy. <laughs> good to see you, man. Good to see you too, man. Yeah. Good luck Bye. The nice to meet you. Bye. Yep. You, it's all about you, I Lisa, just said, constantly. no, it's not. I said yes, that I felt is. there was a lull in the conversation. A and lull. you didn't, you didn't hear that the public... over to spar with the Ronnie cutout. You, that's not a lull. That's something visual that people would want to see behind the scenes. You, you know the protocol, but you just like to interrupt. When it's an A-list celebrity, you're all over them. The public said like that Devon they had, a grab, have they had to grab them. him out of here. And yes, people do want to know about celebrities. So I'm supposed to just cut up. Greg's interview and that's it. That's what you do anyway. So and you Howard replace Runger them with, like, as is if the you white asked the question. So why don't, why don't no, you just you keep you guys going like have you to you understand. We can't have a press conference when a guest leaves. You're going to have to work this out. I, I mean, so, I, I think so, we so, have so, been one working. Person, one person asked the questions and then, yeah, everybody else can cut up the interview yeah, if they need Go it. back to doing what you do every time, Lisa, and then pose it as, as you ask the question anyway. I mean, you well, maybe one time Lisa will ask the questions. Maybe one time you I personally think she asks moronic questions. So I, 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 What question would you consider moronic? Uh, like yesterday when I'm in the middle of asking uh, Sammy Hagar about you know, reconciling with Eddie Van Halen. It was something right. that was in the notes. I thought it was relevant, but it yes. didn't come up during the interview. Okay. She interrupts with... No, that was the question it? afterwards. That's what I was, Yeah, before you interrupted it. And went, what and did went, she ask? She goes, oh, uh, what's it like having your wife next to you in the studio? Just some inane question that comes out of left field. Here, I'm going to kick this guy's in. How was having your wife in there? How was having your wife in there? <laughs> oh, Having my wife in there, that's always dangerous for the Howard. And you know the protocol, Lisa. Everything works fine when you follow it. Guests don't complain about being bombarded. I thought, you know, there's a, there's a reasonably good system going See, on. See, I should jump into this and get involved, but this is, that's when I drive myself crazy. I get in the loop, and it's an evil loop. And I know, and, and I know this is probably, like, something you don't even want to have to think no, about. No, but I have to think about it because I don't want my guests in the middle of this. Honestly, I, 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 she... What do you say, Gary? You're the producer. Why are you not involved in this? Keep me out of this. I found out about this the first thing yesterday. What I think I'm hearing from Greg, and I need to know the answer to this, that this system works with Langford but not with Lisa? Yeah, Lisa should trail Langford for the rest of the day. You might learn something. Why don't you shadow Langford? (laughs) I don't think that's funny. I think that's disrespectful. I think you're disrespectful. I think you're both both in an impossible situation. I'm fine with my situation. When Lisa can't be the center of attention, she's stepping all over each other. She she just doesn't get it. I mean, I do get it. And when I'm backstage, so it it happened yesterday. Once we've been pretty, we've been working well together. It's been going on six years. So it happens every now and then. It it happens when when we don't have to remind you. No, when I know a publicist has to grab someone out of here. How can we resolve this? What would your What would your solution be? Oh, you're asking him. I'm asking Greg first. I have to ask someone first. (laughs) My solution would would be to follow protocol. What is protocol? Which is to wait till I'm done. Then she can ask a couple of questions. She can use all of my audio because her microphone, you know, for the right. most part, you could sits, share sits the off audio. Frame. We're all in this together, right? Right. And um, she can just not, and she can just go back to what she was told at the beginning, and, and which is to wait. And if that means that you didn't get your interview because a uh, publicist is rushing the guest out, then that's what it means. Doesn't mean you have the right to interrupt me. That's that's disrespectful. I've been nothing but respectful towards you. And if I was short with you yesterday, that's because you constantly try to nudge your way back in there when you're not reminded. I do not Lisa, do what do you constantly. think protocol you should be? You don't see yourself, Lisa. Ask I anyone around here. I think we should here. be able to both ask questions. But the problem is you're stepping all over each other. Why can Steve... Because of that pressure of like, oh my God, he's being that's rushed right. out of here. I'm not going to get a question. Yeah, if you didn't have and that my killer microphone, soundbite about and what it was like to have his wife off in the camera yeah. so that, God forbid, the Gary, mic flip. I don't want to be involved. Okay. Gary, listen to me. Yeah. I'm going to make an edict right now. <laughs> I don't want to be. Question? Hey, no. You don't have to ask any questions. You can ask it off stage right. because you're going to be taking care of this. I don't want to be involved in this. <laughs> do whatever you have to do to resolve this. Make sure I don't know about it. Oh, God. And I don't, I, this is, t- I don't even want to know that the two of them are bombarding the guests when they leave here. <laughs> I, right? And that's the thing. I don't bombard. I have tact. Lisa, uh, listen to Lisa me. Bombards. Listen to me. I'm out of this. I don't know how to solve this. I don't have an answer. I can't be relied upon to have any more answers. I just want to do the radio show and leave. Thank you. And I would have handled it without you. It's just We just thought this was funny for the air. But, Lisa, my quick question for you. Lisa says there's nothing funny about it. What, what, <laughs> is, it, what is it? If Greg asks all these questions, why can't, like, what is it that you need to ask that he's already asked? She had to know what it was like for his wife to stand there. She with, was interested in that. Greg wasn't right. going to ask that question. Greg wouldn't ask that. Right. <laughs> what could be these questions? 
I, I don't profess to be so. I mean, you're the you're the guy. I don't profess to be you or anything like that. But I think I ask relevant questions. I get them the reaction. Well, Lisa you doesn't and, think you ask relevant. And then many yes, she times, does. she's done a report about no, many how, how times, I ask good questions. So I, I do think Greg is very talented. But many right. times, the guest is talking. And he talks over their answer, and then I can't use part of I that see. tape. So it's called having I, a conversation. And yesterday, but, but I was that's waiting difficult for, for me when I have to edit something. So yes, we're in a difficult. Right. conversation. I'm out of this. Well, I'm not going to. Why gonna, are you out of this? I'm Did, out of it, Lisa. Because here's why. I got to tell you why. I'll give you my speech. I've given everyone this speech. It doesn't seem to help me. I got into radio to do the Howard Stern radio show. Everything else is what I didn't want to be involved in. I'm not a good manager. I'm not a good program director. I'm not good with people. I hate people. <laughs> I dislike everyone that I see. Stop it. I barely can tolerate living with people. Now listen to me. I like radio and I like Beth. Other than that, it doesn't matter to me what goes on around here. <laughs> Gary's in charge. When I do the show, I want to be with Robin and Fred. Sometimes Benji. <laughs> Gary, I could even live without. <laughs> but all right. I uh, Gary, too. That's it. I just, all I wanted, my dream was to get a radio job. And, and I go home and I obsess over this radio show. I can't get involved in all this other bullshit. I want it to be successful. But you guys have to be adult and work this out. And we will. Gary's going to come up with the answer. <sighs> and whatever Gary says is the answer. And Gary, don't even tell me your answer. That's what I told Tim on the phone yesterday. My head was exploding. He starts calling me up about this one and that one and doing his job. I said, fire them. He goes, you mean it? I go, fire anyone who isn't doing their job. He's calling you and telling you people aren't doing their job? That's right. And so, what are, what so are you I supposed said, to do? I said, fire them. Yeah, but why couldn't he figure that out? Because he didn't think he had the authority. I gave him the authority, and then 10 minutes later, my agent took away my authority. And he said, who are you firing? <laughs> I said, I'm not firing anyone. <laughs> I can't. If people aren't doing their job around here, get rid of them. Fire! That's all I said. Oh, my God. Either you do your job or you don't. Yeah. And don't make put me in the loop because that's the same with me. If I don't do my job, they're going to fire me, too. The country club is over. And you know who I'm talking about. Who am I talking about? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> but whoever is in the country club, get out of the country club. We're running a business here. And you two maniacs are going to have to work this out with I, Gary. I have Get never seen Greg like this. You know, Greg is always so easy even going. tempered and easygoing. Well, you have a crush on him. You uh, stay out of this. I, well, I guess I right. haven't uh, no. uh, seen his bad side. I, it's not a bad side. I didn't even want to bring you into this, Howard. I'm, I'm embarrassed. I'm not it's in even it. coming. Don't up. even be embarrassed. I, mean, I didn't even want to bring it up on the air. This but. is good. This reminds me that Gary's got to learn to be management around here. <laughs> no, but I just want to say one thing in my defense is that I have Skip a, Gary. Go to Tim. <laughs> I, have, I have a very. I knew Gary wouldn't last. Fire, long in fire Gary. And Tim, because Gary can't work this out. He'll come to me at some point and go, Both, listen, I know we don't want to talk about this. But you go, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't have the authority to do it. My hands are tied. Both, I want you to do You want everything done the way you want it done, but I don't have an answer. You want to know something, Gary? I don't know the way I want I it done. But I There's have... only one time I know when the way I want it done is around here when I'm doing the show. We're... After the four hours are over, take for granted I don't know what I'm doing. I, I would not have known what you thought on this. And then I would have made a decision. You want to know who could... But, but I'll tell you what I think. What do you think? I think, that it, should, I think that it should stay the way that it is. What? It's, no, it's causing chaos. <laughs> it's only causing chaos with Lisa. It's not causing chaos with... Uh, with because Greg it is, Steve. though. No, no. It's, it's causing chaos. It's always hurt. It's working for everybody but one person. That's a horrible answer. But no, go, go ahead. If that's your answer, answer, fine. Leave it the way it is and let these two kill each other. He's right. No, somebody, no leave it the way it is and someone has to stay in line. That's a ridiculous... What I'm taking ridiculous? it out of his hands. So, <laughs> somebody's going to listen? Lisa, whose hand should it be in? I'll give you the final vote. We are working on getting a better microphone so that I don't have to be so close to Greg and feel like I need to interrupt, which happens Your every now and then. Proximity should have nothing to do with whether you interrupt, Lisa, whether you're what, a foot away or a mile away. You know who could solve this? Will. I'm making wow. him the, in charge I'm of just embarrassed we are having the intern shadow Lisa at this time. Yeah, this is shadow terrible. Shadow <laughs> <laughs> she should shout a Langford. I'm telling you, Howard. I, 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 it's Greg, not that's me. enough. You said enough. No, I didn't say right, enough, yes, Lisa. I said, well, I've had Lisa, enough. Well, fine. Good. Lisa, ask everyone here. I have the I've most, had enough. I, Hold it. I've so had I can't enough. talk because you've had enough. No, I've had I've enough had of your enough. bullshit for years now. Wow. I've had enough of it for years. And I've, and I've bit wow. my tongue and I've been professional about it and I'm sick of it. 
cut the crap. Well, it's, you got to take it's, it's this enough. up. You have to take this up with Gary and Lisa. I will, and I guarantee Gary will. Whoever you ask will have my back because I, I'm respectful. It sounds people like Gary is going to leave you out in the cold and leave you guys to solve this like mano a mano. No, he's, he he understands. <laughs> that. Gary sounds insane. You know what his answer is, and I'm leaving Put it up him to him. Room and whoever comes yeah, right. out you wins. You know what? I'll suggest we keep it the same and get a longer microphone. Here's what the truth is: what? you, Howard Stern, approved this process years ago. Yes. We came to you. I I, be, I told you, I don't know what I'm doing. But, but you approve, you're the one who approved this process, so we're carrying out your orders. Gary, and you're like, Gary, don't carry out my orders. Gary, listen to me. I'm going to say it again, and I want everyone to hear me say it to you. I don't want to be involved with the horse shit. Don't, don't comment anymore. I got it. You're taking care of this. But don't get involved. And don't can I just ask you one last question? Are no. you honestly going to tell these two to just keep doing things the way they're doing it? No, I'm going to talk to both of their bosses and explain it to them. Oh, you're going to go over there. I'm going to have a meeting with Brad and Doug. Doug, sure we're all on the same Doug, page. Doug's a lunatic. <laughs> Doug doesn't Doug even have to deal Howard with me. To sit in a room and watch TV yeah, with him. Doug wants me to give him a hand job and watch uh, Howard TV stuff. <laughs> The common denominator in this is Lisa. It's Greg, not me. I it's not Langford. You. It's not. I heard you. No, you and don't I've hear me. That's Gary, the problem, Lisa. And I've spoken is that to you Brad. Do not, you do not listen. That is the problem. Well, if wait you a backed second. off and you follow things the way it's been done for but years. That's your point of view. But that's the way it's been done, and I'm not. And I, people don't have complaints about me. People constantly have complaints about Lisa. I mean, that's facts are facts. And you can say I don't know that. Enough, I've Lisa. never heard a complaint about Lisa. How many times has she stirred the pot? And You're shadowing Lisa. Have you ever heard uh, any complaints? No. Talk to anyone back there. You know, Listen I, to me. If the guys want to back this. me up, they can. Greggy, I'm out of it. I know. And I apologize for bringing I'm this. a creator. I'm an artist. <laughs> I can't be in this chicken shit uh, fucking uh, management. This is a waste of your time. I agree. I'm I, a genius. <laughs> you are. That's right. I'm like Beethoven of radio. I can't sit there with this. <laughs> chicken, chicken, sheen dinner. No, chicken. <laughs> winner, winner, sheen win, dinner. Yeah, winner, winner, chicken dinner. No, winner, winner, sheen dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I've got tiger blood, Lisa. Don't, don't F with me. I'm telling you. Wow. wow. Stop it. Well, listen, you got to respect that. Lisa has a point of view. And I do. And I respect the news. And I love the news. I love Brad Driver. I love all those guys. But why is it that Langford and I get along and, and coexist perfectly? But. Back here, there's constantly there's constantly issues. Well, maybe, it's, it's well, maybe you should ask. Lisa. Well, Lisa, maybe you should talk to Steve about how he handles it. Maybe. Uh, no, thank you. I heard everyone, Howard. I get it. Well, but no, maybe we you, don't need to talk about this anymore. I heard Gary. I heard you. But maybe I you're spoke right. To Brad Driver. Now I'm getting nervous. The policy is the same. I messed up yesterday. Oh. I'm sorry, oh, and it will okay. continue the what, way it was. I have heard everyone. Kimmel, Lisa, right, leave her when alone. you harass the producer at Kimmel, when you don't listen. The same thing happened when we, were, when we were covering behind the scenes of Jimmy Kimmel. She told you she didn't want to speak with you until the end. We documented her. We backed off. We got it. You continued to ask her and harass her. I did not. Because it I goes in one once. ear and out the other, Lisa. You need to, at a certain point, you need to step outside yourself and realize that you well, have listen, some things yeah, you need you to work on. You can't ha listen, when I do these shows, we can't hassle the people. Exactly. And that's why Lee and I got it. We backed off. We said, sure, Jen, whatever you'd like. We know you have a lot of issues to deal with. We're here to document Although, believe them. me, those Kimmel people needed a little harassment. <laughs> Let me ask a question. Greg is not the only one who does the post-show yes. interviews. It's like a gang rape out there. But no, somebody else sometimes handles no, Chris the camera. Costa sometimes, yeah. Camera. So I was just wondering if he has the same problem. Oh, absolutely. Oh dear. Absolutely. Well, and and all the you guys, guys listen. Listen. Ugh, I just know I'm right in this house. All right. I'm, well, I'm let's trying say to be you're professional, right but... or wrong, I don't know. I don't want to be in on the decision. I hear you. Who my judge fucking Judy? Yes. <laughs> you're Solomon. <laughs> What am I? So I'll tell you what, I'll cut you both in half. <laughs> listen, I respect that both of you take your job so seriously that you want to do a good job. You understand that, Lisa? Mm -hmm. You understand that, Greg? You're yeah. both passionate yeah, about your I job. Yeah, I love that. I, I love your passion. I, this is a I love that you're professionals here. because if Lisa was the type that would lay down and go, all right, I'll do whatever anyone I'll just says. just take whatever your questions I wouldn't are. want her around here. I like her go, get up and go. I like your get up and go. You're making me cry. I'm making you cry? Oh, why, why are you why? crying? Why are you crying? Oh, no. Oh, no, this is crying. Greg, look Greg, at you, what you did. You know what? Am but, I making you cry? Well, because I am very passionate about what I do. That's right. I don't think oh, I'm respected Christ. about that. And I'm oh, sorry if I upset everyone. Are. The reason you're oh. here is that I respect you. Look at Jason with the camera. Quickly, oh, get her tears. <laughs> Could you blubber again? I didn't catch that. I missed Everybody. the tears. Lisa, listen to me. Okay. I'm going to say it right now to your face. The reason you're here is because you care. Don't you think I recognize that? No. You don't? Yes, I don't know. Oh. Well, yes, I don't know. 
<laughs> you shook this girl up. But now look at Greg. Oh, Greg this Zang. This is lame. This is so this is lame. lame. Oh, Greg, start crying. I, I honestly, I feel. Just as passionate. I was fired up about this I all day I said that both of you both are of you passionate. I know, I know, I know. But The I, this fact is... that you care, I like your passion and I like Lisa's passion. This can be worked out. Yes, I hope so. Of course so. Don't even... we all want everyone's product to be good? Absolutely. And there's just, there's just a certain way to do things professionally. And there's a certain if way not to If you feel as passionately about your job as Lisa, why are you not crying? <laughs> why right. is she the only one Maybe crying? Maybe she's the only one who's really passionate. Right. So I'm a big tough guy. <laughs> I, you see, you know, my problem around here isn't with you. My problem around here is people who aren't passionate anymore. They take advantage of me. They're in a country club. They got a country club lifestyle. I like these tears. <laughs> I wish a couple of other people around here would fucking cry. <laughs> Pat it with everyone. I love your passion. Get in there and ask those questions. <laughs> Fuck Greg. Step all over. Sorry, Greg. Yeah, I'd <laughs> give a shit. <laughs> I mean it. You're a reporter. Never b apologize. And that aggression is good. Just work it out with Baba Booey. He's got a perfect plan. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> He's going to go, I'm going to go talk to Brad Driver. Boy, I, I, it will all work out. Well, I'm leaving this I'm in my gonna producer. I'm going to have a summit meeting. I'm leaving this in the hands of my producer. One of the problems I knew when I came to Sirius, I was going to have two channels. When I dreamt up all this, I said, there's going to be a lot of headaches, and I don't want to be involved in them. <laughs> if I could pull this off without any people involved, I'd be fine. All this humanity makes me ill. But I like your passion. <laughs> I like the fire in your belly. You too, Greg. Thank you, sir. Fight it out. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to your guns and talk to Baba Booey. <laughs> fire! Right. What is it, Ralph? Hey, now. Hey, now. You know, you really do have to get that situation in line because don't you remember how annoying it was when you were at Piers Morgan and you're done with the interview and then all of a sudden there were like 50 cameras in your face and they want something for the internet, you know. What's that going was on. in our crew. That was, uh, yeah, that's yeah, a good I know, example. But it's annoying when people are. When I was at Piers Morgan, I was really drained after that. I had done a radio show. You know, I was done. I had done 12 hours with Piers. I walk off. They got the, over there too. Camera crews. They got a post uh, show crew. A guy walks up to me and goes, D -d 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 I'm talking to some camera crew another camera crew comes up to me and goes can you do something for our online presence and i go like, well, online uh -huh. I, I agreed to I, I did a favor for this piers morgan i did an interview i spoke for an hour and a half and they're going to cut it up anyway so i sat there longer than i needed to and then you're going to put some more tape together for them i was woozy I'm not kidding. Ask yes, Ralph. I was woozy. Yeah. Well, you know, all of these shows now, they have, would you sit in Twitter for a while? Right. Would you do some chat? Yeah, what if I wash what if I wash the floor? To our online people? What if I stick a broom in my ass? <laughs> Caroline, you still want to be a reporter? <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? I want that kind of passion. You do? I love it, yes. You know what that kind of passion will get what you? Is, what? Locked up in a mental institution. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think she's gonna end up? Oh. Oh, come on. We've, we've already called the medics. We're just keeping her talking until they get You're going to be sitting at home with your violin and your cats. <laughs> hey, I, I got a quick question for Greg. Is he yeah. there? Yeah. Hey, Greg, Greg, who are you to tell uh, uh, Lisa that her line of questioning is inane? I mean, maybe she's going somewhere with that line of questioning. Because I've, I've witnessed it for five or six <laughs> years oh now, and I, and I personally don't feel... And I'm not, and Ralph, this isn't like a, a pat on my, an own, I'm patting myself on the back. I know I'm not Howard. It's very obvious that I don't have the interviewing skills that he does. But at the same time, I think I know how to walk that line a lot better. And I don't, I don't ask like gossip magazine type of questions to people. I try to keep That's relevant. Lisa's beat. That's her thing. You know That's what? Just because you look down on it doesn't mean it's not. Ralph, everyone looks else. down on it. Oh. Ask, walk <laughs> up and down the hallways. You know? Oh my God. Uh, Angry Black, you're on the air. Hey now, Howard. Hey now. Uh, one thing, can I uh, plug my Twitter account before I get to our call for? No. Okay, let me, yo, Greg. Yo. Not, yo, you feel like a tough guy? You made that woman cry? I mean, who are you to dictate what questions that that woman because, asked somebody? Because, dude, I have a Did job. You? I don't feel like a tough guy. I have. No, no, he no, didn't no, make me cry. I, it's I don't just that make I felt Lisa no one, cry. Howard, you understood why I got dude, upset. Dude, you're not, you're not there every day and just someone's just needling you and not listening to the way things were supposed to be. And what? when you see the flip side of it and you see the way that Langford handles right. himself. It's going to be it's, solved. It's, it's very Guys, evident where the problem Gary lies. Gary Delabate. There is no problem. Is, is going to be. Listen, this guy sits on the board of 
of Parks and Recreations. <laughs> Look at him. He went through hell. He man. just went through hell. Did you see what they called him in the New York Post today, Gary? <laughs> Listen to this. They go, Howard Stern's sidekick, G Gary Bababui Delabate, is starring in his own Park and Recreation show. And they go on to say that he got elected to the yeah. thing. The Toothy, 50-year-old longtime Wait producer. Wait a minute. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Great. That's disgusting. Toothy. That's a good one. That's not it's professional. It's legal action. That isn't professional. Let's go to Marianne from Brooklyn. I love you, Howard. Why don't we all just get along? I have a simple solution. Greg, I love you. You take one day, and then Lisa, you take the next day. No, so Gary's going to take care no, of it. No, they can't do it that uh, way. Ron, go ahead. You're on the air. Ron Kitchmere and Tuckers Ron from uh, Sacramento. Go ahead. Yeah, hey, Howard, I just wanted to say, when Lisa first came in, she's sitting there doing one-liners with Ronnie. That's not a news person. She's just an annoying bitch. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, there you go. But I'm not a fan of Lisa's. This has disintegrated yeah, this conversation. That's right. As all of them do here. <laughs> well, look, it sounds like Gary has a plan to resolve this. It sounds like he's going to stay with the status quo and have you two at each other's throats. Perfect. So congratulations, Gary, on an excellent management decision. <laughs> But I will abide by it. How is it? How is it a bad man? A, a policy is in place. So it's Gary, not just good. handle it. Handle it. I did handle I'm it. I'm giving you if, 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 real. If you were, if you want to be a producer, produce. It doesn't even have to be discussed anymore because I, Brad Driver was in here and said it was all rectified yesterday. <laughs> He's 50 years old now, you know. I finally gave him some responsibility. <laughs> At 50, he should be able to handle it. Imagine poor Lisa and Greg sitting with Baba Bowie as he decides what their fate is. Uh, <laughs> I, I had it. a talk with Brad yesterday. I know what. Oh, yeah. Yeah. As did I. And I apologize that I didn't want to make it an us versus them thing because I do. I do love the We're news. We're all going to work. Exactly. This out. What's going to be worked you know, out, Lisa? No need for tears. No need for tears. The tears weren't that I, I understood. Felt. Okay. Well, I just hope Greg calms down. I've never mm. seen him like that. I'm fired up. It, it, Who even knew he had a personality? Shit. I know, right? Yeah, everyone's probably like, I never heard this <laughs> guy on the show before. Guy? Well, because it's not my because <laughs> it's not my job to really express. <laughs> I'm, supposed to, I'm supposed to hang back and. So did we and, make up? I, Lisa, if you apologize to me, I'm perfectly willing to to make up. But I feel I was wronged, and I'm not going to back down from that. That's but not she how apologized. I was raised. She she apologized for interrupting once. She she I, I feel Greg, that she let knows. Let it go. You're gonna sit with fa fa fo hi. I feel that she knows what she was doing all along. And are you gonna abide by fa fa fo hi? Absolutely. I'll abide by whatever anyone tells me to do. I I'm a the part of the team. The teeth know best. They do. They do know best. Go to the teeth. Go to the teeth. We're taking it to the teeth. How do you expect? Now you two, I've come to a decision. How do you expect these people to respect me when you keep saying, are you going to speak with Fafa Fofai? Fa, fa? The teeth will rule. Now, please stop staring at my teeth. I've decided what it is you're going to do. Here's my decision. We keep have a tooth keep, ruling. Keep everything the same. <laughs> and let them just deal with it. The teeth says... <laughs> And now I'm going to be taking a nap, and hopefully Doug Goodstein won't put it on camera because we have an agreement. The teeth have come down with the decision. The teeth have spoken. Hold it. <laughs> I'm putting on my thinking <laughs> special braces. <laughs> I can't wait till he makes his decisions. I'm going to water pick this out. <laughs> Am I getting yelled at by a woman whose entire life is run by a boat captain? <laughs> All right. <laughs> fa fa fo hi fa fa fo he fa fa fi hi. He'll handle it. Trust he me. He will. He's a top guy. I seen him. Look, you see how he got through that whole decision making process fa -fa to get on fa -fa the parks and recreation fa -fa committee. That's right. Mary, I'm not backing down. <laughs> We're taking this one to the mat. <laughs> I know best. <laughs> Mary's like, who did I marry? Get the fuck off this thing and let's just live our quiet life. What have you done to us? You fucking maniac. Uh, this is a very tough first of all this is a very tough decision you see my right tooth agrees with lisa my left tooth tells me to go with greg <laughs> split the, the teeth are split 50 50 by the way you should know that my wife has had a complete change of heart she's happy she's very happy she said told me how proud she was of me. she's glad we did it good i'm glad are you going to really handle this for me or it's already been handled okay. Howard. it really has really the, the discussion happened yesterday Lee, Lee, the funny thing is, okay, Lisa went, no, but Lisa went through the whole thing, and then inevitably she said, "I understand I was wrong. I'll be fine." Okay, that's right? very professional. Right? 
All right, Greg. Get All out right. of here. You made a woman cry. Get the fuck out the door. <laughs> Sorry about that. It was not my intention. Bully. <laughs> and don't point your finger at women when you argue with them. Oh, you're right. you that I, 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 I didn't mean to. Oh, he, he pointed. I, I didn't mean to do that. I'm, I'm just teaching fired, you about fired, stuff. fired up. I no, learned that a long time ago. I have many women in my life that are important to me. I didn't mean to do that. Do me a favor. The two of you, go out in the hall and practice interviewing Baba Booey. <laughs> and see if you can maintain. See how it goes. See how it goes. <laughs> Work out a new system.